Money Matters is brought to you by OfferPad. Visit OfferPad.com to request your free purchase offer today. OfferPad, move freely. Well, this morning at 540, we're getting a jump start on the markets and other financial news. And there are sales starting at some Sears locations uh, that are already set to close. Maribel Aber joins us with Money Matters this morning. So what's the latest on the retailers' plans, Maribel? Hey, good morning, Gravier and Tracy. Well, liquidation sales start at more than two dozen Sears and Kmart locations this week. All of the stores are scheduled to close in late October. There are 21 stores, uh, Sears stores, in 15 states and five Kmarts in three states and Puerto Rico affected. All are large format stores, and the closing comes as Sears focuses on smaller stores. In Georgia, a Sears location in Athens will start liquidation sales this week and close in October. Hobbs and Shaw hung on to that top spot at the weekend box office. The Fast and the Furious spinoff rang up more than 25 million in ticket sales. Scary stories to tell in the dark. Grab the second spot. The horror movie pulled in close to 21 million, and The Lion King was third with 20 million. Tracy Gavir, though, let me tell you what, The Rock. Man, he's everywhere. He hmm. is everywhere. And that movie filled with action. I haven't seen it, but it's got to be like nonstop adrenaline from Needed. start to finish. Uh, Maribel, tell us about this one. A major beer brewer expanding into hard seltzer. You have the details on this? Well, you know, Anheuser-Busch InBev is launching a new line of hard seltzer. Natural light seltzer is being aimed at college age drinkers. It's cheaper than some competitors and will be available in 24 can packs. Uh, AB InBev is hoping to capitalize on the growing popularity of hard seltzer, which has fewer calories and less sugar than other drinks. Tracy Gravier, speaking of targeting college students, the thing that really messed me up early, credit cards too easy to apply for and get for college students. We're making it too easy for college students for this kind of stuff. Oh, absolutely, I agree. I think that one didn't, well, yeah, it actually did catch me when mm -hmm, I was younger, mm -hmm. yeah. All right, mm -hmm. Maribel, <laughs> thank you very much. Uh, you can catch Maribel's Money Matters report Monday through Friday right here on CBS 46.